haunted by all the guys that he couldn't save. Do you feel that way? Do you think most vets feel that way? Um, yeah, I can speak for myself and for the SEAL teams and special operations. You know, the military is a volunteer service. We volunteer to do it, you know, to go the extra step and join a Ranger Battalion or go through BUDS and become a SEAL is the ultimate step. And we go forward to take the fight to the enemy. So and when we go down range, we protect the people around us in that brotherhood. We protect the, protect the people, the Marines, the Army that we work with. You know, so things don't haunt us. So for me, I'm not haunted by those. And I don't think Chris was because he never told me that. There has been some criticism, a lot of criticism uh, of the movie. Uh, some say that it's anti-Islam. How do you respond to that? Um, I think that's an unfair critique. I believe the, you know, the adversary in the movie is, um, you know, a sniper who's from Iraq. Um, and then there's also uh, the butcher who's also from Iraq. And regardless of the setting, it's the adversary in the country he's from. So I don't think it's anti-Islam. And I think, you know, the way Chris describes it and the way he talked about it, you know, when you've seen the face of evil and you're inundated with it and you're in the moment each and every day, you know, you're able to call it what it is. So I don't think it's anti-Islam. It's anti the hate that's towards Americans and the, the hate towards coalition forces. Mm -hmm. Also, there's, you know, there have been a lot of questions about some of Chris's accounts of things that happened once he got back here. Did he ever talk about that? What do you think about those, about those questions? You know, Chris was a very humble guy. He was the type of guy that would receive a lot of praise and immediately deflect it to the people around him. So, I, you know, to hear people say that Chris was out boasting about his accomplishments or boasting about things he might have done, I, I would disagree. You know, Chris was a humble guy. He liked to take all that praise and, and praise the people around him. And, you know, Mark Lee and Ryan Jobe shown through in his book. So I would disagree and say that wasn't Chris. And, you know, it's not stuff that he would do. He was a, he was a good steward of the flag, and he was a great American. Do you believe that we're fighting Islamic terrorism or extremism instead of just extremism in general as the White House has portrayed it? That's an interesting question. Um, I know we're fighting extremism. It's a very barbaric extremism. People ask me, they're like, well, where was ISIS and ISIL when you were there? And the answer is we were out there actively engaging them all the time, so the threats weren't there. And as we've left, you, know, you see it pop up. So I believe we're actively engaging a threat and they are coming from an Islamic state. So, you know, let's put the phrase together and call it what it is. It's, it's Islamic uh, extremism.